So it turns out writing all those letters to Santa and staying off the naughty list for the year, your mom finally, I mean, Santa finally bought you a new iPhone. But you and I both know you're a complete klutz. So here are four ways to protect your new iPhone. So let's check it out. A new iPhone is a beautiful thing to look at and just touch all day. And so the easiest way to keep it that way is to add at least a screen protector. You don't notice it's there, they add no bulk, but in return keeps your screen scratch free and if you use the Rhino Shield one, crack free as well. As I thoroughly tested it in my full review linked below. Yeah, a fucking hammer and no dice to your screen. Solid. Now that's a fairly straightforward conclusion, but if you're gonna drop it even worse than that, you need to cover up the rest of the phone too. After extensively testing the Rhino Shield mod series, I can confidently approve it as one of the best tough cases available. What sets it apart from all the other tough cases are these options though. One day you can go from a bumper style to show off all the iPhone's glory, which still offers a very protective case even with the iPhone's app sticking out. Or the next day you can cover it all up in several design options like the carbon fiber I have here. The great thing about the mod series, as the name suggests, is that it's modular, so you can swap out colors for the rims, backplates, and even buttons. Meaning just because it's tough doesn't mean it has to be ugly. And with the screen protector, that's 360 degrees of coverage and can confidently say it will protect your iPhone for the most part. Yeah. I've included some of my tests from the iPhone 8 mod case review because they were just lit. Now, if you want to be as cool as I am, this is the combo I use, a black and white contrast with the hip as f black marble backplate. Finally, I know you've seen this around and wondered what it was. A pop socket attaches to the back of your phone to essentially give your fingers something to wrap around. It's like holding the hand of your girlfriend that you wish you had. It attaches fairly securely to the backplate and for the most part, adds a little flair to the whole package, making using your iPhone one-handed a breeze and no more worrying about it sliding around while swiping right. When you're done with all the washroom selfies though, squeeze it in and it lays fairly flat against your case. I'm a huge fan of its simplicity and adding this to your phone is a must for anyone with tiny fingers or just sucks at holding things. Now I know the 3D pink diamond design may not be for everyone, but they have so many design options you can even customize your own. As an added bonus, it also doubles as a stand. It may not be the sturdiest, but you're just looking for that hands-free experience. Look, if you're not going to listen to any of my other ideas, at least get Apple Care. It may cost a lot up front, but in the long run, it saves you quite a bit of money. This is already the case for the iPhone X, because on your first drop, you're already making back your money. And if you really suck at holding things, the second drop is even more worth it. You're basically getting two new iPhones for the cost of like nothing. I mean, sure, there are cheaper repair options, and as a Chinese guy, I totally get where you're coming from. But I'll be the first to tell you that they sometimes end up costing more because they screw something up and you have to go fix it again anyways. With Apple, it's a trusted source to manufacture itself and it's this easy. That's it guys, I just got back from the Apple store and the beauty of Apple Care is just that. It's so simple and convenient. You just walk in and they give you a phone and you walk out, basically. And that's the thing with accidents though. No matter how careful you are, there's always someone out there who's gonna ask to borrow your phone to make a call, make a sext, or you know, take a selfie weirdly on your phone and you can't control how they treat it and shit happens. So while adding a screen protector, a case, and even a pop socket will significantly decrease your chance of your screen or phone cracking, it still won't make your iPhone invincible, no matter what case or screen protector you use. 
Personally, I do recommend Apple Care though. Even if you have all three of these items, you're just paying for that worry-free ease of mind for the next two years. At the very least, get a screen protector. You barely notice it's there. It doesn't add any bulk, but it does so much for you. And to make it easier, use my code down below to save 20% off at Rhino Shield. Don't worry though, it also works on the Rhino Shield mod series where you can get some pretty crazy customizations going, hopefully a little more exciting than mine. And the pop socket, even at full price, costs about $10, but it makes holding the iPhone so secure, it probably saves you a few hundred dollars in repairs down the road. If you're worried about the pink though, don't worry because they do have manlier styles like darker shades of pink. A big shout out to Rhino Shield for sponsoring the video. It supports what I do on this channel, but I had complete creative freedom and all the pins expressed are from my own brain. If you want to support what I do on this channel, check out my new store linked below for accessorize me merchandise like this hat, along with old accessories I no longer use and you can pick up at a bargain price. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and leave a comment below letting me know what case you want me to review next. I rest my most protective options.